Sniper. Okay, I think this is the first time myself and the, the rabbit are playing. Let's go with... Hmm. The bird. The bird is the word. Last time I played the bird's opening, I felt I felt the uh, the need to go with the bird's opening. Who was here for that stream? <laughs> ah, Bishop B two. Let's get on this diagonal. And Knight F three. Let's go. Is that knight gonna have a better square? And e3. So far, so the same, actually. Um, this is the same situation as that game I played um, in the last stream two days ago. And I said sometimes that... Uh, well, I don't think in that game, but I've said it before in this opening. Sometimes white will want to voluntarily capture this knight, and now... You know, black is telling me what to do, so I'm going to do it. I'm okay with that. Um, here's the plan. The big plan at this point is to restrict the light square bishop. I think it's already a critical position for black, and I don't know that that's the correct move. Just a quick thought right here. I think the best move in that position right here, instead of bishop e7, is of all things. Actually, I'm not going to tell you the answer. Not going to tell you the answer to that one. I'm going to let you try and figure it out. So take a quick snapshot of this position where the bishop visualize it on f8. What do you think the best move is in this position? See what you could come up with. And then uh, I'll voice my own thoughts. I don't want to give away stuff right away. You subject your own thoughts. I think that could help to improve your game. So let's go with c4 now. What was that move that black maybe, maybe should have been playing right there? And I, I, I feel pretty strongly about it, to be honest. So, And I'll talk about that after the game. So um, I'm kind of peeking over there in the chat as this game is going on to see if uh, the move is uh, being referenced. Is it being referenced? Queen C2. Because I want to play E4 and I want to be in a position to, I think, capture in this direction, should this capture come about. Do I have the majority of you wondering what is this big bad move that he's uh, suggesting instead of bishop e7? But wait a second, maybe my queen has second thoughts. And maybe it's actually okay that she's having to take a, a second turn and come to the e2 square. Maybe. Maybe I'm not uh, comfortable with things after all. Bishop here. Mm. This key got really weird. Really, really weird. Actually, am I in some trouble here? Pawn push or queen out here. I do, I do not like right now that my queen is tethered to this e3 pawn. The first moment I have, I'm playing here and saying, get out of there, knight. Although there is a problem with that, isn't there? Maybe a bishop check or something. Now, this is absolutely collapsing. My opponent is making good moves here. They are doing well to, uh, to take advantage of that silly queen move. I'm, seeing, I'm, I'm learning something more about this structure now because of how I was playing. The center has officially opened up, and guess what? That is exactly what I do not want to have happen, because this bishop is going to kill me. I was saying right from the beginning, as soon as this structure came about, that I want to restrict this bishop. Well, I can throw that one right out the window, because he is ready to come out here, maybe here. Ugh. However, can I actually throw this move in? 
Does that work? H3 and then take? Okay, so wait a second. Do I have something? This actually might work. No, 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 no. Ooh, is this gonna get scary? Prepare yourself. It's gonna get very scary. If there's a bishop check, I'm gonna move my king to f1. Wow. Scary time. And if the knight plays to f2, I'm gonna play rook here. Okay, so this is the variation we're working with, aren't we? Interesting. So I'm also down on time, if you didn't realize. And that's uh, it's not a good position to be in. Could take here. Let's do this first. Oh, I'm also down on time. Mm, can I just take here right away? Bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, knight takes pawn, and then king here. That is really scary. I'm going to go with this. Bishop takes, I think, is correct. Or maybe it's not. I might have a sneaky move with queen c2. Okay. Am I out of the woods? I think I'm out of the woods. I have a giant uh, group of pawns right here. Giant group. Okay, things are actually okay now. The smoke has cleared. There is no more tension with regard to the pawn, the pawn structure. Bishop check, just get out of here. Now the queen is constrained. She's tethered to this bishop. Queen right here is a serious threat. So I think <clears throat> the bishop runs into trouble. Well, pawn push here. I'm getting that bishop, aren't I? Queen here. I like, um, what, maybe centralize my knight. Yeah, let me just do that. There's a, uh, oh, there's bishop takes g. Is my opponent going to see it? Is my opponent listening? Don't you dare listen. If you take here, you're listening. <laughs> Less than 30. Ah, okay, let's go, queen. I'm going to attack now. There's a queen check, but... I think that should be alright. Let's open this up. There's still a queen check. Maybe I should be playing king here. Now oh, my queen could block. Take the pawn, you're dead. Dead meat. Okay, let's let's defend. Where's the time? Where's the time? 22 Tikaruskis. The queens are off. There's very little fear for my king. They should be fearing the worst. Here we go. Opposite color bishop ending, but I'm up uh, some material. Is the g-pawn going to move? Here's the plan. Rook g1, pawn push. But the bishop's going to play here. Get out of there, bishop. What do I want to do? I want to go after the c5-pawn very quick. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. 14 seconds is not a lot. Ah, oh, I'm a dead man. Can I get this? <laughs> Rook f8. You know you want to do it. Rook f8. Oh, it's very scary. Ten seconds. I don't. Where, I didn't leave myself any time. No time to win it. Oh, I'm so dead. Why are they giving me that? Why are they giving me that? King position. And then bishop here. Seven seconds. No time. Skewers. And then trade somehow. Oh, they should have went with the other one. Clock situation. Four. I should have got the rook. Should have given a check. Okay, I could get this now. 3.5 is actually enough. It's actually enough here. Okay. Cut that king off. Let's see where it's going to go. Okay, now I have that actually. Push. 
push, push, push. Right here, right here, and then right there, coming up next. Oh no, what did I do? I let the king out. How did I let the king out? <laughs> How did I let the king out? I thought it was me. What just happened there? I thought I had a, a stepladder. <laughs> what happened? Wait a second. I thought, I, oh, I didn't have the king cut off. I was thinking the rook had the king cut off. <laughs> oh, I thought he had like x-ray vision apparently. He doesn't have that. Oh, man. <laughs> Seeing things that are not there. Good game. Let's back up. I shouldn't have won that. Ah. Okay, right here. Let me get back to it. Right here. This is the thing that I was uh, not... Uh, yeah, this is the thing I was not voicing right here. I didn't want to spill the beans on this move. But I think... Now, I did not play it right without this knight move. I really have to give this more weight because that got to be very hairy right there. But anyhow, I think instead of the bishop move, I think it's important to play a5. And I don't know. I won't be able to scroll up all the way for those that were uh, picking what uh, move I was you know, getting at there. Actually... Is it? No, it's too far up, so I'm not going to see it. But anyhow, I think a5 with the following intention. a4 to break at this structure and allow the bishop to play to a6. And I think it comes, it, I think it's time sensitive because otherwise, and this is what I should have been doing. Uh, I think c4 is still fine. After castle, queen here, uh Queen e2, if a5, then I could play knight c3 to a4. I think if black plays a5 first, however, a5, then I play what? If I play c4, um, then there's a4. And if I play knight c3, well, then now I can't get my knight in to this, uh, to this c3 square, or um, excuse me, if, if a5 is played, I need to stop this a4 break. So, and if I'm playing knight c3, my c pawn isn't contributing just yet. So it would run something like this, a5, knight c3. I'm trying to get in. This is what I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get in knight a4 and then c4 to restrict this bishop. However, after a5, knight c3, bishop a6, as soon as I play my knight to a4, there's a couple things black can consider doing. One, play bishop b5 to attack my knight. And two, simply play c4. And black is officially striking at my white pawn structure. And in doing so, breaking or uh, eliminating one of their doubled pawns. This is very time sensitive right here. a5. Knight c3, bishop a6, knight a4, and there you go. Bishop b5 is available, or c4. If after bishop e7, now I get in c4. I do play that in the game. And if a5 right now, I could play knight c3. If bishop a6, I play knight a4. And in that instance, there is no bishop b5 because my pawn is on c4 in time. And because it is on c4 in time, there is also no possibility for, of course, black to be playing c4 themselves so anyhow it didn't really uh i mean my opponent broke things down but if i had to do it over i would not be playing queen c2 but rather queen e2 with again this intention of knight c3 to a4 piling up on this uh c5 pawn essentially i was too concerned about by the way if you're wondering why i played queen c2 i was i wanted to be in a position to meet d takes c with d takes c and have my queen watch over this square i didn't want the knight to play here but i guess i could always take him out by challenging him by challenging him with let's say my knight on d2 or maybe later after the knight plays here come over with this uh, queen c2 move um but anyhow those were some of my earlier thoughts it definitely got really wacky uh and i think there was an opportunity right here actually for what a bishop takes a g4 move was available right here 
after I play my knight here. This pawn is now overloaded, needing to watch both knight and pawn. Um, when you have your opponent in that sort of position, look for tricks, look for tactics, and I believe that bishop takes right there would be a decent tactic to run with. The bishop check, I would shy away from that. I think you end up running into some trouble. I don't really... If, if the intention with the bishop move was to keep me castled, or excuse me, keep me uncastled, well, you're successful in doing just that. But then again, I don't really intend on castling. My rook is exactly where it wants to be. And uh, you're just kind of helping my, me out and tying your pieces up now. Your queen being the one that's tied up. So got really crazy, and I really shouldn't have won uh, like that. I think keeping one piece on the board, a rook, keep keeping me guessing, and then that's it. You could always throw in some time burner, and I'm toast.